Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this very pretty spring-like glam, as well as giving you guys the details on this hair. It's very simple and beginner friendly, which is what I've really been pushing for with my looks lately, is just making it very simple and beginner friendly. With the weather being nicer and everything opening back up I just figured it's only right that I show the girls you know a nice little springtime look and I feel like it went perfectly with this hair and speaking of this hair I want to give a special thank you and shout out to clay hair for partnering with me in today's video this is their 24 inch highlight wig you guys already know I've worked with clay so many times in the past because I just love the quality of their hair I would recommend that you get a 180% density with this wig because I would have preferred a fuller wig but all in all it's still very pretty i did cut some layers in it i did not color this hair whatsoever this dye job was done by clay so this is how the wig came i did get the wig in 24 inches i don't know if i mentioned that but it is with the 13 by 4 parting space so not super deep but just right for a bust down middle part um i added a few curls to it last night with just a wand curler and this is what we're working with i didn't have to curl it or anything today so win for me this hair is definitely perfect for springtime and it goes perfectly with this look so as soon as i did my hair i was like oh this is this is how i have to do my makeup the peach glam is just so natural it's so girly it's really pretty in person hopefully the camera picks up on that if you haven't already be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads just so you know all of the details about the hair as well as the products that are used in this video will be listed in the description box down below so be sure to check that out and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the look getting ready to install this wig I have it on my little wig head or dome head but I am in love with these highlights. If your hair is blonde, if your wig is blonde, whatever, use a purple shampoo when you're washing it because it'll help to tone the blonde pieces, which makes this wig honestly look so much better. I'm so excited to be installing this. I have kind of missed having a little bit of color. I did bleach the knots on it, but it's still, I don't know, it still needs a little bit of work. I still need to pluck it a little around the edges, so I'm about to do that really quick, and then I'm going to install it. Right now, feeling lost, but I like it. One foot in my sins, not about Don't you know you can't do it in girls like that? Thinking that ain't nobody been a bye bye. Losing your mind, baby. Can't be sure. Time's wasting. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm just did to do my I'm sorry, do I know 
my shirt, new bitch on my nerves. Oh nigga got curved, going back on my word. Damn bitch, you like dirty. So one of the things that I learned about cutting the lace, um, when I went to the comedy show a little over a week ago, or about two weeks ago, um, I was looking at this girl's lace and her lace looked like it was coming from her scalp. And when I was studying it, because it's just honestly it looked so good whoever did it did an immaculate job what i noticed was that her lace was pretty much like cut off all the way up to where the hair starts and i usually like to leave a little bit of excess lace on my frontal just for like reinstallment purposes but i think what i want to do with this one is bring it up a little bit closer. I feel like I leave a little too much lace on my wigs. So I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit, a little bit more. So it's a little bit closer to where the hair starts and see if it gives me that natural look that old girl had because her lace looked amazing. And let me just spray this down. A handheld fan is going to be your best friend. I know so many people like to use the blow dryer, but the fan works 10 times better. And I'm just hot combing this part so it lays nice and flat. So I'm getting ready for court and I wanted to do my makeup a little bit just so that, you know, I look a little more put together for court. Obviously, I don't want to overdo it and do like a full beat face, but I have some errands and things to run today. So I figured I could just do my makeup with you guys and show you what I do for just a natural light quick beat. I kind of want to use this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. So I've never used this one before. I got these products from, these Tatcha products from Sephora in like a little sample pack. So I wanna try them out. Everyone always raves about Tatcha. I'm using the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. Wow, I really like that. Look at my skin, it's so glowy. I'm gonna go under my eyes with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Amand. And I'm just gonna use this Sephora Pro Concealer 71 brush. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. And this I'm just using to conceal that little bit of under eye darkness or under eye shadow. And this is just gonna help me appear more awake. I'm covering up this little bump that's trying to come through. And then I'm just gonna use this to cover any other darkness on my skin. This is very close to my skin complexion, so I'm just gonna conceal. Oh, my voice is cracking. I'm just gonna conceal any any other darkness that I see on my face. I wanna add a little bit of a glow under my foundation, or I'm not even using foundation, what am I using? The Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Longwear Makeup broad spectrum SPF. I don't think they consider it foundation. But I'm gonna go in with this Melt Cosmetics Sex Foil. It's a digital liquid highlight and I really love this stuff. Like you, you don't even need as much as I just used which is like a full pump. You don't even need that. You need like not even half of that. But I'm gonna take and apply it here. 
and here. And then, hmm, maybe a little bit on my nose. But this stuff is so good. And then I'm gonna take my sponge, I'm gonna take the end of it, and I'm just gonna blend that in. And you wanna move fast with this stuff because it does dry down really quick, but as you can see, it's so glowy. On the days when the sun is really shining, I love to look super glowy. It just looks, looks so good. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. <laughs> super glowy, that's too much. I didn't need that much, but that's okay. I'm using, Wow, okay. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 19. And then I feel like, let me take a brush. Cause I want a little bit more coverage than what the sponge can provide. And it's very light coverage, but it's so good. And as you can see, even with applying it over the highlight, it's still, my skin still looks dewy and like glowy. But my skin still appears skin-like, which is what I want. I'm gonna go in with NARS concealer. Um, this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And I'm going to apply that here and we'll put a little bit there but I mainly want to focus that in this area to really brighten up this part of my face I'm gonna blend my concealer with the pro foundation brush number 47 by Sephora Now for blush, I've been really into the color orange, especially whenever the sun starts coming out, yellow, orange, colors like that just really do it for me. They look so good on my skin. So I'm gonna use this Tower 28 blush in the shade Beach Please Golden Hour, or it's the Beach Please blush by Tower 28 in the shade Golden Hour. I'm just gonna use this Rare Beauty, I think this is their blush brush. Ooh. I think this is their blush brush and I'm going to apply it here and I love focusing my blush on the upper part of my face and just sort of blending it almost like into my concealer and my highlight And if you haven't hopped on the cream blush or layering the blush where you do cream first and then layer a powder on top, you are missing out. I'm going to go back with the brush that I use to blend my concealer and just sort of blend everything together so there are no harsh lines. A few videos ago, I picked up this Makeup Forever HD or Ultra HD setting powder and I've been wanting to try it. I got it in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna go in with this powder puff and it has like a little triangular tip which make it easier to set under my eyes. Okay. 
I'm also going to take a little bit of powder under here. And I love this little powder puff thing because I can never get a straight line under here. And that just made it so easy. <laughs> I just filled my brows in off camera and I'm just gonna bronze my face with Old Faithful MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW55. No, NW50. To add a little bit to the dewiness on my face, I'm not gonna spray this all over my face. I'm just gonna spray it to like the high point of my face, which is like this part here. And this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Take my sponge. To finish off, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Peach Pout. I'm going to put a little bit more gloss because I'm extra like that. I love when my gloss and my blush are sort of cohesive. I love it, it's so simple. And yeah. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I will have all of the details about this hair listed in the description box down below, as well as the products that I used for this look. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me some comments down in the comment section below, letting me know your thoughts on the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support on my channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!